little bit more about some basic sketching. So we're going to open um, a new talk template. We're going to select front, left click. Above that, we're going to select select the sketch icon and we're ready to sketch. So in this particular um, video we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, some of the basic geometry like lines uh, and where to start them. A lot of times um, it's good to start from the origin here um, so at least you have you have one end locked down and once your geometry gets a little bit big you at least always have a reference point so like any piece of geometry you can click over here smart dimension um, and you can edit this a number of ways okay so once the dimension is attached to the line you can rotate this little thumb wheel you can use these up and down arrows. You can add an equation or link a particular value, and those are pretty good. We'll talk about them later on. Um, so, and you can also type it in. So let's uh, make this three inches. Now let's talk about. Let's finish making this. Now, over here, once you get it in per perpendicular to it or parallel, that little ghosting line will light up. And that, that's a real valuable tool. And as you start sketching, you'll realize that. Um, I'm going to talk about a sketch fillet. Now, a lot of times you can wait once you build your geometry or you can use this, the sketch fillet and add these fillet commands in. So if you le left click, up comes a box to define the radius and we're gonna bump this up to a half an inch. Okay. So then you left click on your first line, left click on your second one and up comes your radius. Okay. So let's try that again. So left click, left click, and up comes the radius. And this particular point is now reference geometry to enable this dimension to stay intact. All right, so that, um, that takes care of those guys. Now let's talk about us. Th these little, um, little ticks or circles inside all of these uh, all of these icons represent how you're gonna select so for example this one is a center select and this one is a three position selecting circle called a perimeter circle but most of the time we use this guy so now I'd like to put him in the center of this box there's a couple of ways to do it we can add reference geometry which is a whole bunch more clicks or you can see this particular little yellow icon represents the absolute midpoint of that line alright so we need a second midpoint that intersects this guy so it looks like we go from here to here and that looks a little bit off but understand that should be let's measure it click anywhere outside uh, a blank select and that clears this we're gonna single left click and left click that shows us a dimension of 175 and let's say we want to move that up let's say this is a, a flange for a motor or something and we want to move it up we know that it's in the center or the midpoint of this bracket because when we selected it, we saw that uh, that little elastic band, if you will. So now let's go into our features. 
say extrude and you can use you can extrude in a number of ways you can extrude by typing it in keying it in up and down arrow buttons or this arrow okay click OK and everything's all set so I hope you enjoyed this one we'll see you on our next video